So what we're looking at here is a civil 3D file that contains a number of 3D solids. Um, as you can see, we have 49 selected. And what we want to do is we want to create a custom report using data extraction. Uh, the data extraction tools built within civil 3D and AutoCAD in general are somewhat limited in the, the information that can be exported. In this particular case, we want to be able to export volumetric information associated with the 3D solids. So what I recommend, um, anytime there's a need to create custom reporting or custom data extraction to an Excel file, um, I definitely recommend uh, leveraging Dynamo, incorporating Dynamo into these types of workflows. So what we have here is I created a very simple uh, script with probably 95% of your scripts you're going to start with that document current and document model space node that just talks about that just kind of links everything to the current drawing you have open for object types we're obviously going to use we want to select 3d solids this all objects by type connects those two within the current drawing we're obtaining the object geometry as well as the volumetric information and then we're going to ex export that into a CSV and these are using some of the very basic out-of-the-box uh, nodes that are available within Dynamo. And let's just define this to data extraction.xls. And if we hit run, we will you'll see the that this list becomes populated with the volumetric information associated with those 3D solids. And if we open up this file from our local. we can now see that we have all of that information listed out. Now the, the only issue with this script, as you can see there are 49 rows, the only issue that we have right now is that we have no way of really associating that or tying it back to individual components within our file. So if we do a select all, we had 49 rows, we have 49 solids within our drawing, so that is actually extracting all of the information that we need, right? So taking a step further, I've already assigned a property set, the 3D salad. I'm going to remove it right now and then reassign it just to show you how what that process looks like. But essentially what I've done is I've gone in and created a 3D salad property set that has a handle, which is a unique identifier associated with each individual component, along with the, the associated volumetric information. So if I go to property set uh, define I can pull up the 3D solid information or the 3D 3D solid property set that I created. And as you can see, there's a volume for automatic property source along with the handle, and that is a way of tying things back to one another. So if we go back into Dynamo, again taking this a step further, we're going to do a deeper dive. And it gets a little more complex, but still some of the basic functionality built within out of the box um, Dynamo. So we're again tying everything to the current drawing the 3d solids but now we're gonna just extract the property set information so if I hit run and then show you what these lists look like as you can see it's identifying the property set name associated with each of the each of the 49 3d solids it's obtaining the property set properties and then we're gonna take this a, another level and create individual columns one for the name and one for the value and then we're going to join that list and export to Excel file, to an Excel file. And again, this is a way of just creating some very basic reporting and data extraction scenarios. So again, the file name is going to be the same. The sheet name, uh, which is the tab at the bottom of the Excel file, we'll call that data extraction. And you want to make sure that, the, that you set a Boolean to overwrite, um, to overwrite that Excel file to make sure you are actually um, exporting the current information. So if we open this Excel file, we now have two columns, one for the volume and one for the handle, and we have a way of tying the information back to individual components. So like I said, we're really just scratching the surface with the data extraction, but you, you get a sense of where we could ultimately take this. The more property set information you associate with these individual components within your file, the more information we could extract and export to Excel files. 
So with that, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out at stevewalls at hotmail.com. That's S-T-E-V-E-W-A-L-Z at hotmail.com. Thanks.